Hello ladies and gentlemen, Green Raven here. Um, so over the course of my quote-unquote uh, YouTube career, uh, I've had a couple of people ask me a number of questions, and although I did respond to all of them, uh, I've been thinking about maybe I should just like having a centralized um, place to uh, keep them in. So I figured it have like this topic for like mailbag questions and rants and other shenanigans um so yeah um for the time being as you can see this is just like bare bones basic uh i'm not really gonna do anything special here um i'm tempted to turn some music on but if you've uploaded anything to youtube recently um yeah, you, you know about the whole copyright thing, and eh, it's too early in the morning for this shit right now, so... Right now, if you have your own music, I'll provide it. Um, so yeah, uh, I thought I'd do like a thing for like podcasts and other stuff. Uh, this is me on YouTube right now. Yeah, very boring. Okay, so, um... I made a, my LCD made me do a thing. Okay, so first thing, uh, editing my videos. Uh, do I plan on editing my videos? Yes, yes, I do. Uh, I've, I've been actually um, meaning to edit my videos for a very, very long time. Um, one of my oldest friends uh, who actually got into the reason of broadcasting Lady Annabelle Hashtags, go ahead and check her channel out if you want. I stalk her way too much. Um, oh, that is not, that is bullshit. I already watched this. Everyone knows it, but I'll watch it again. Anyways, so yeah, uh, we've been talking. Girl, you gotta get a, you gotta get a banner thing for you, for your channel. Anyways, um, so yeah. Oh yeah, for those of you who have watched me long enough, you know that I derp and my brain just sucks. That's why I have to create this quick podcast topic thing. Anyways, so we've been talking for a while now. And, like, we, I, I do plan on editing. She edits her videos mainly just to pause. I plan on editing them. I like actually editing editing them and, like, make funny things and such. And uh, So there's a video that I promised her. Or not so much promised her that I wanted to show her. Um, we've been talking about Fire Emblem. And she loves Lynn. And I forgot which Fire Emblem it is, but... She loves the one with Lynn in it. Uh, the one I love or, you know, played the most, I guess, is the one with Seth. And I promised her a montage of Seth Don't Care. Uh, it's just Seth basically being Seth and just murdering everyone. So um, I do, in fact, plan on having, um, ed editing my videos and stuff and just, eh, you know how it is, procrastination and laziness and such. But yes, I do indeed, in fact, plan on uh, editing videos. Okay, so next question. Um, my plan for more views. So, yeah, somebody asked me, uh, you know, what do I plan on doing to get more views, to, you know, grab more attention, and how to promote myself, and, um, you know, how to just get out there, basically. Uh, I've had a couple of people ask me that, actually, because it's probably the most popular question. Um, to be honest, I'm just going to switch to this for a little while, because <laughs> it's going to be a little boring. Anyways, uh, to be honest, I don't really have a plan, and I don't particularly care. Um, a lot of people, when they get into this, like, you know, what's playing, YouTubing, and all such, they just basically, they want, um, you know, they want the views, they want the fans, they want the popularity, they want internet memes about them, you know? Um, not me, actually. I, I don't really particularly care about all that stuff. Um, especially with my social anxiety. For, you know, those of you who know me on a personal basis, you know that I'm just terrified of other human beings. Um, you know, I'm not trying to be the next PewDiePie. I'm not trying to be Game Brumps. I don't want to have a legion of fans. Um, I only have just a handful of subscribers. And I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, even if my videos only get, like, two or three views... Those are the views that I want. Um, so you kind of wonder, like, well, why am I doing this? Well, the answer is I'm doing this for my friends, honestly. For myself, obviously, mainly. And for my friends. Um, so I may not have the, you know, the highest view counts, the highest subscribers, but 
the two or three or four that I do have, those are the ones that really matter to me the most. Um, you know, I don't particularly care about what the internet thinks about me and my gaming and such. And it's it's basically for my friends. You know, that's that's what matters. Um, right now, most of them are sort of on hiatus. They just kind of disappeared off the face of the earth and just doing their own shit. And for the time being, I only have just the one friend who stalks me. And even if she's the only person who actually watches my videos, I'm perfectly happy with that because that is my target audience, that is my demographic, that's who I'm aiming for. And if other people happen to watch them and like them, hey, great. Uh, but I've hit my target audience right from the start, so I don't really have a plan on increasing anymore. I mean, if I do get more, I mean, that's great, but again, I do this for my friends. So, uh, back when I originally started my channel, actually, and most of my friends are still alive, uh, you know, I would actually, they would actually like, oh, yeah, play this game and name this character that and do this stupid thing, and that that's exactly what I did. Um, so, yeah. Uh, in fact, where is it? My very first video. Uh, la, 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 da, da, da. By the way, uh, I'm going to be rambling a lot in these things, so... Be prepared for that. Uh, Mister of Magic. So yeah, that is actually how I started my YouTube channel. For those of you interested, a little tidbit. Oh, for fuck's sake. Our internet is being wonky lately. So yes, uh, there you go. Master of Magic and Taka Sorcery. This is the very first video. This is why I got into it. Um, back in the day, she was calling herself Nataka. Now Hi, folks. Lady Annabelle hashtags. And Annabelle, and God knows what other name she's coming up with. She's competing with a certain other hoe that we both uh, know. Um, so, yeah. Um, what was I talking about? <laughs> yeah, it's early in the morning. I'm derping. And yeah. But anyways, yes. Yeah, st- oh, yeah, right, right, right. I, I remember now. So, yeah, like, originally when I created my channel, I would actually have a topic... Um, I'm also an admin of a quirky little site called Angel Spire. It's also in my, um, links thing. So, yeah, um, you know, I would ask my friends, like, hey, like, what game do you want to see me play? What crazy thing do you want to be in? They're like, yeah, play this game, name, name your character that. And so, yeah, that's, that's what I used to do. And once most of my friends come back, I'll continue doing that. Anyways, uh, so there is that. Um... Yeah, I'm going to be trailing off a lot, and, uh, so yeah, I don't really have a plan, don't really care for more views, to be honest, um, yeah. Anyways, the next question, I, th- this worked out much better in my head when I was rehearsing this before I started recording, Oh, uh, channel gimmick, um, originally when I answered this question, I actually said that I don't have a gimmick. But now that I have a second chance to answer that, um, I've been doing some thinking, and I actually do have a gimmick. Um, I do. My gimmick is I play just these random, weird, obscure little games that most people haven't really heard of. And the thing is, though, um, I don't really do it because I just want to be like this weird, mysterious hipster that's all like cool and, oh, you wouldn't get it, you know? No, it's just, I legitimately just have weird, bizarre tastes. Um, I I generally tend to like movies that other people don't like. I like games that other people don't like. It's just just how my tastes are. Um, So it's not like I'm doing this, like, on purpose, you know? It's not like a persona or anything. Um, I just happen to like weird. And this even goes back to the days before the internet. I mean, back when me and my brother and, you know, our mom would take us to the store and we'd go, like, run to the game aisle, you know, swarm over the games, and my brother would be running towards, like, you know, Pokemon Stadium, Mario Kart, Wind Waker, you know, all the games that the other kids were talking about, and, well, since I was an antisocial weirdo, um, while I was growing up, I didn't really, my opinions were never really influenced by other people, so I sort of, like, started picking and choosing games that I liked, on my own, you know, again, like, Mario Kart, Pokemon Stadium, you know, these are the games you get because you hear other kids talking about them in the lunch room, the cafeteria, you know, 
I was like, yeah, 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 you got to get this game. You know, that's so much fun. And that's that's exactly what my brother did because he was a socially adjusted human being. Uh, since I was that weird kid that was eating alone at lunch, and actually, in my case, I didn't even show up to lunch a lot of the times. I would just just uh, sort of ditch school during lunch hours and, like, eat outside. And, but whatever. Um, so I never really had those kind of conversations. So um, my gaming tastes sort of developed on their own. And I ended up going for weird games like Future Tactics or Geist or, uh, you know, when you need to think of something off the top of your head, you can't. Rogue Ops, you know. So it's like, and even back then, my brother would just like be looking at me like, why are you getting these games? And my answer would just simply be, it looks interesting. I just happen to like these weird, random, obscure games. That's just how it is, you know? I'm not trying to be a hipster. I'm not, you know, just doing this for, like, some shock value or anything. I just happen to like these weird games that no one's heard of. So, yeah, my taste just happened to be very weird. Like, I play a game called Arena, which probably ten people in the world have heard of, and I've play, put hours into it. So yeah, uh, I guess my gimmick would be just random, obscure uh, games and topics, so yeah. Okay, next uh, conversation, abandoning LPs. Um, so yeah, uh, how do I feel about abandoning Let's Play series? Um, I'm perfectly fine with it. As I've mentioned, I'm not really in it for the views. I'm not playing like, you know, the most popular, because like, a lot of channels, they'll be playing, like, what's currently hip and popular. Like, right now, Witcher 3 in, you know, 2016, Witcher 3 is big and popular. And that's what a lot of people are playing, you know. I don't do that. As, again, I said, I play these weird, obscure games um, because I feel like it. So, I'm okay with dropping. And, again, my target audience are my closest friends. So, they're not particularly picky about you know, what what I play, what I upload to YouTube, so I'm perfectly fine with abandoning Let's Plays, and I don't feel like I need to apologize to anyone, unless, like, one of my friends, like, specifically asks to, you know, make a certain video, like, uh, you know, a slave in particular asked me to do, like, a Princess Maker thing at one point, which I still need to get around to, like, that, then I would actually, like, apologize, oh, you know, like, I didn't feel like doing it, but, like, in general, I pick my own games, what I play, when I play, not because it's popular, not because it'll get me the most views. I do it because I want to. Simple as that. So, I'm perfectly fine with abandoning uh, Let's Play videos. In fact, uh, Nat, Annabelle, whatever she is calling herself at the moment, uh, she lets us to that I've resurrected series that have been like a year old, just out of nowhere, like Beyond Oasis. And I will get to that, by the way, girl. Um, I'm all, I'm I'm literally at the end of the game. I really need to finish it. Anyway, so yeah, like I will pick up games that I haven't played in ages and just resurrect Let's Play. So I haven't been. I I also remembered one thing I was gonna say earlier, but I forgot because I'm a derp. Um, I also record obscure games for one other reason. <laughs> obscure games tend to not get noticed by the copyright Nazis. Um, again, if you've been around YouTube in the last year or so, you you may have noticed that. You know, copyright strikes have been being handed out left and right. Um, Channel Awesome recently uh, suffered one. Uh, you know, nostalgia critic. He's been ar- and he's been around since like the beginning of the internet. Um, you know, like Total Biscuit, Jim Sterling, uh, Yahtzee. Lots of big and popular, you know, titans on on YouTube have suffered copyright strikes. So. And they're lucky enough to have lawyers on their side, you know. What are what do us little people have? Nothing. Um, so yeah, <laughs> in a way, playing all these obscure games t- sort of puts me under the radar for you know copyright bullshit. Although, uh, give me a second. <clears throat> <clears throat> Although I have received a number of uh, copyright notices. Uh, I've been paranoid to just instantly remove the videos because, yeah, as I said, I'm I'm a nobody. If YouTube decides to just ban my channel, I there's there's nothing I can do about it. So I've been lucky enough so far to uh, hope I don't jinx anything. I've been lucky enough to avoid actual strikes. 
against my channel, but I've received more than a number of notifications saying that, hey, person X has noticed you are using his material. So yeah, um, I'm, I generally just get paranoid, freak out, and just delete the video completely. And one of, one of the first times I actually got it, funny story, uh, was in Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed. Um, I know what you're thinking. It was flagged because of something Sonic related. No, that is the hilarious part. It was flagged because of Panzer Dragoon, of all things. I swear to God, that is like an obscure dead series that had like, what, two games? Nat, you're the expert here. Uh, two games, maybe three, most. Uh, out of all the games there, I mean, out of Sonic and... Um, let me just quickly... Uh, and then and, and Sonic and All Stars Racing transformed <sighs> cast characters. Yeah, characters will do. Um, yeah. So uh, let's see here. Sky. Okay, Sky's Arcade is also obscure, but like out of all these big popular characters and franchises. Panzer freaking Dragoon is what got it flagged. So, uh, yeah. Who the f- oh, that's an Xbox exclusive. Assholes. So anyways, yeah, I mean... Yeah, it got flagged for Panzer freaking Dragoon, of all things. Anyways, uh, if you have rambled long enough about that, um... Favorite genre and console? Um... Uh... RPGs, I'll definitely have to say RPGs. Um, yeah, just hands down, RPGs. I've always loved RPGs, and I will always continue to love RPGs. I do play other genres, though. I'm not, like, single... Mo I, I happen to know a few people who are just very single-minded and narrow about their gaming habits. You know, they only play, like, specific titles, like, only, like, Madden games or, like, only fighting games are... Very good tomboy, angry friend, Paige. She only likes fighting games. Um, you know, that's it. Just, just, just fighting games. Nothing else. So like, I do know people who are just very sort of focused on one genre. I don't do that. I try to play a little bit of everything. But overall, if I had to pick just one, it would definitely be RPGs. Um, favorite console, though, it would definitely be the GameCube. Hands down, GameCube. Um, that was, that was literally the console that got us both into gaming. I mean, we had, like, an N64 before that, but, you know, um, we, we only had, like, five games for it, you know, not really. Uh, you can't really see, I really need to find that photo if I still have it. Actually, let me quickly, um... Oh boy, we do not want to be going to my porn folder. Oh boy. I think it's here, but... Oh, you know what? These are all photos from my new phone. So I do not think they have... Um, anything that ooh yes blood very nasty um oh whoopsie daisy there you go spoiled you now see me i will have to edit this part out nah probably not because i'm too freaking lazy all right so um yeah a lot of these photos are sent to just one or two people anyways uh, i guess i um All right, so um, right, so this would probably be the photo. This right there, uh, you can't really see it. Oh, okay, this this tells we we have about um, fifty uh, GameCube games. That was our system. Um, you know, that that was the time when me and my brother actually started going out on our own and buying our own games. And so yeah. Uh, GameCube as my favorite console, and uh, 
RPGs are my favorite genre. <sighs> All right. Next. Um, right. My latest gaming habits. Oh boy. Um, as as you as there's a link in my um thing channel. Uh, I have a Steam account. There you go. This is currently me. Um, first of all, uh, I'm generally invisible when I'm on Steam. Uh, if I am, if you're trying to talk to me, don't take it personally. It's not you. It's me. I just... <clears throat> excuse me. I just have, like, anti-social issues right now. I don't deal well with people. E even, like, my closest friends. I talk to them through, like, you know, messaging and texting and all that stuff, so... I generally do not like to, um, yeah, I feel bad, but I, I don't particularly socialize right now with anyone. Ooh, hey, you girl, you was on only 12 minutes ago. And you played Stardew Valley. Of course you played Stardew Valley. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm currently invisible on Steam, and not currently just at this moment, but like in this phase of my life. Uh, I'm almost never on, so if you are trying to talk to me, um, and I don't respond, don't take it personally. Again, it's not you. I just have issues at the moment. Um, so yeah, but this is my, um, this is my, uh, Steam page. Um, I do have a shitload of screenshots, a lot of... Even my friends who I don't really socialize with, they do enjoy my countless antics and screenshots. Uh, now for the actual gaming habits, I have uh, an unfortunate thing to tell you all. Um, I really haven't had the patience lately to play any quote-unquote real games. So mostly I've just been playing these sick, disgusting clickers. Uh, in fact, let me quickly go back to my profile and... Uh, yeah, uh, let me quickly show you. Come on, Oxider like has been wonky. Shakes and fidget. Uh, fourteen point seven hours in just a span of like two or three days. Um, it's 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 not a clicker game per se, but it's one of those games where you do nothing for minutes and just wait for shit to resolve. So yeah, uh, Crusaders of the Lost Idols, clicker game through and through. Um, Clicker Heroes, Adventure Capitalist. Uh, there's another one out there somewhere. Time Clickers, 117 hours in Time Clickers. Yeah, I've I've just had just really disgusting. Uh, tap Tap Infinity, only seven hours. Only seven hours. Uh, so yeah, I've just generally haven't had the patience lately to pull out oh, Sakura Clicker. How can I forget Sakura Clicker? Um, lately I just haven't had, um, just the desire, the energy, the motivation to play quote-unquote real games. So I've been just sort of playing these sickening, disgusting clicker games that the elitist gamers frown upon. And something like this where it's just, I call this titty slapper because honestly that's what it is. Um... So yeah, my gaming habits at the moment are not on par with my gamer cred that you've come to know and love. Um, also, for those of you interested, for anyone that cares, I do trade cards and shit to complete badges. Uh, as it says right here, I, I've tried trading badges with these uh, quote-unquote professional traders. They have a bunch of these shitty rules like you have to give them two cards for their one, and you have to check like the you know, the price value of the cards, and it has to be at least... Because, like, a lot of people do it for the money. I don't. As it says right there, I trade for fun, not for profit. If you want to trade cards with me, just make an offer. Chances are I won't refuse. The only, like, pretty much my one and only rule is, uh, I don't trade cards that I only have one of. Because, as again, I'm trying to complete badges here. So, <laughs> if I have a spare card and you want it, I'll gladly trade it, you know, don't need to check prices, don't need to, uh, you know, values, compare and stack, and just, if I have a card, you have a card, we swap cards, simple as that. 
So yeah, um, so yeah, these are my latest gaming habits. Um, I have I have uh, gotten into visual novels lately. Like, I hit them pretty hard. Uh, me and that just sort of like, bam, right into them. Um, yeah, uh, this one in particular I've played quite a bit lately. It's called Appointment with Fear. Um, it's a choose-your-own-adventure novel. So uh, it's it's more than just your average visual novel because it's a cheesy superhero comic. Uh, so it's it's great. Um, yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure I've rambled long enough on this thing. So yeah, this is my YouTube. Uh, my YouTube. My um. Steam. There you go. Early in the morning. Oh yeah, gamble. Ooh, yes. This uh. <laughs> Modding Fallout, folks, and just the situation happened, and I just had to make a witty PMS joke. <laughs> I'm a terrible human being. Uh, gambling games. I like gambling. Um, there's an MMO out there called The Four Kings Slot and Casino. It's, it is exactly what it is. You just go in, you just play games, and uh, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, those are my... Um, gaming habits and last but not least my recording setup um i use open broadcast there you go um give me give me give me, give me. Uh, anyways um i use open broadcast it's flexible it it's not a resource hog like oh say uh fraps um it's it's pretty decent, pretty stable. Um, you can use it to both record videos and stream. Uh, I I usually I don't stream as much these days. If I do, I generally do it from the PS4. Um, but yeah. Oh yeah, I also have a uh, thingy Twitch account. But anyways, it's it's on my channel, Hatter on YouTube. Anyways, um, I I actually love it. Um. My one and only complaint would be um, there's no pause button. You just simply start and you simply stop, as you can see. Um, that would be my one and only complaint again. Because, you know, sometimes you get interrupted, and especially with my living arrangements, I don't particularly have too much um, private personal space. So um, my only complaint would be... Um, uh, the thing. Lack of a pause button. Again, early in the morning, folks. I'm rambling. Um, so, yeah, I think we can just go ahead and, yoink, save this and kill this. Um, as for the actual headset, uh, I will show you. Turtle Beach Headset. Um, dee -dee 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 -dee, tiddly diddly hey. I have, oh, say, the, no, 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 this, 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 that. Uh, whatever. I can't find my exact model. Actually, let me just take it off real quick. Yeah, that, uh, that would be the, uh, smart. There we go. P12. Um,. There we go. This is what I'm currently right. Actually, I'll show you this. Because, eh, or this, or that, or this. Yeah, I'll show you this. There you go. Uh, this is my current headset. Uh, the Turtle Beach Ear Force P12. Um, it has a very handy-dandy mute button, as you can see over here. That comes in extremely handy. Um, when your being when your privacy is being invaded, um, your n -n 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 camera. Let me just show you real quickly if I have it anywhere on here. Now, Iris, I took a phone. I don't remember if this was on my old phone or my new phone. Yeah, you get to see me, unfortunately. The horror. Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. I really should take a photo. Um. This is a this is a photo from like ages ago. Um, 
yeah, this right here on the right used to be my old uh, recording setup. It was literally shoestring together. Uh, I had just a basic headphone, and I had one of those like phone microphones with like as you can see it has a single earbud and a tiny little that and a little clip. And yeah, that was my old recording setup. Um, these are my brother's actual old headphones, but it's the same model. The one I'm currently wearing is blue. Not that it matters. Obviously, I prefer green, but blue. Um, so yeah, that is my gaming setup. And I think I've rambled on long enough. We're running on 30 minutes. So um, thanks for watching. Um, if you got any questions, go ahead and ask them. Uh, I will answer them. I'll probably, like, now that I'm actually doing these, um, you know, podcasts, mailbag things, I'll probably wait until there's, you know, maybe two or three questions before I answer, but we'll see. Anyway, so yeah, uh, this is Green Raven. This has been, like, a general 411 thing. Hopefully I'm going to have a prettier video next time with, like, background maybe and music and such. And So anyway, yeah, um... Thanks for watching. Again, if you have questions, feel free to ask. I'll answer anything you want. Uh, those of you who know me, I'm not particularly shy about, you know, private questions that much. So anything you want to know generally, just ask. Um, anyways, I'm going to go head off to uh, Steam and I'm going to record a couple of things. Nat, expect to have that uploaded within a day or two. So nighty night. Uh, sweet dreams, and uh, I'll see you some other time. This is Green Haven signing off. Bye-bye.